So now with the news here, does this help police? find her? You know, we reached out to Kalamazoo Police Department and thus far there's no indication that this latest revelation helps them find her. But this really bizarre story. She's been missing now for almost a month. She was supposed to show up at work, didn't show up. And there's this bizarre element of these YouTube videos that we've seen where she's uh, apparently or at least it appears that she's talking to a lover or a boyfriend. Here's a clip of a couple of those videos. You walked into my life and stop my big tears. Everything's easy now. <clears throat> it's me. So I finally. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good night. Now, her, her mother says that she knows of no romantic interest. Huh. Now we know from this personal protective order that quite possibly those videos were directed toward Marvin Sapp. Wow. Now, Marvin Sapp, for people who don't know the name, he is a big deal in the gospel music community. His concerts sell out. He's been nominated for Grammys 10 times. And I actually want to read from the protective order yeah. filed in September. He writes, uh, speaking of Talika Patrick, she has moved from California to Michigan, joined my church, contacts my children, has been to my home. I have at least 400 pages of correspondence from her, which I have never responded to. Now, we've reached out to uh, Sapp's church. They have uh, no comment. What about anything with regard to Talika Patrick, any issue of mental illness? Yeah, well, you know, the station, our affiliate WOOD there in Grand Rapids, they reached out to her ex-husband. They were married between 2006 and 2011. He says that she was paranoid, hmm. that she was distressed, that she heard voices. Hmm. Now, he also said that quite possibly those voices were not from God, but may have lead, led her into do something that was... Uh, uh, dangerous for at least herself in this case. Police have no uh, idea if this is foul play. They've not ruled it out, though. But her family says they have no record of any diagnoses of mental illness. But her husband, at least ex-husband, says that there were voices that she heard.